So right now I'm doing a little bit more tube notching. What I'm working on is the X brace right behind the driver's seat. And so I've got a few notches here that I've been working on and I will demonstrate those shortly. And on this side I need to, I've cut this at a 45 and now I've got to notch it at a 45 to match. Well, my first attempt, it's a little loose. It's not a little loose, it's a lot loose. <laughs> but what I need to do is this side, this side I need to take a little bit more off. Um, if I take a, there's, this side's just a little bit longer, I need to kind of trim that down, and then I think it's gonna fit pretty tight. Well, let's try it again. So as I fit these pieces up, this one's fitting really nice and tight. It's to the tube pretty much all the way around. So I'm happy with how this one turned out all the way around. It also fits really nicely right down there. So this one's pretty well good to go. <clears throat> so as I'm notching each of these tubes, I have to notch to fit up in the corner here as well as fit down in here and to fit tight tightly and fill all these gaps. So, it gets to be kind of a tight fit when you got multiple areas joining. And it helps if you don't put it in upside down. It's fitting very nicely right here. This is all, all really tight in there. There's almost no, no gaps at all. These two fit together just right at the center of the chassis right there. So that's kind of what I was aiming for. This has to go down just a little bit right there. Anyway, that lines up right with the center of the chassis. This is all really nice and tight. So happy with how that came out. The X brace behind the driver's seat ties the top of the buggy down to the bottom of the buggy in a cross pattern. This makes the chassis more rigid and safe in the event of a rollover.
For the front of the chassis, I bent up a small tube to kind of bring the front end of the chassis together so that it wasn't just so squared off and blunt. It kind of brings it more to a point rather than just squared off. So what I'm working on right now is tying this together, the entire door panel. And what I did is I cut a piece of tube to go right there like that. And then now what I have to do is run a piece down to there. So what I'm gonna do is tack this in place and then try and get this measurement for this second piece. Um, that one's gonna be a little bit more tricky than this one because it has two different uh, welds at each two different uh, notches at each end. So um, what I'm gonna do first, tack this in place, then we'll start working on that. So I have this tool that I haven't even used yet, this entire build, and what it is is it's to help you find um, more complicated uh, notching and coping joints. And so basically you can slide it right over the tubing, Oops. so I'm going to slide it over and then kind of put it about like that, and then what I'm going to do is kind of set it in place and see if I can get it to... Um, get it to line up well, then I'll slide it back and use a marker to mark the notch. So about right there is like how I want it. So let's pull it up and take a look. So what we can do then is just loosely I'm just going to slide it down like this and then take a marker and mark those two spots and then try and line my tube notcher up to match uh, those two spots and then so I can get my, uh, not up there, right here but get my matching, matching notches and then as well as up there so we'll see how this works. I marked both of those and we'll try nachos out. So I marked on my piece of tube where where I want these copes to go to match up with this and then line my tube notcher up and I'm just gonna cut those out and see how close I can get it to this. Alright, so I got this one pretty close to where I want it. And then so I'm looking at my next one right up here. And the issue with that is, if I, if I put it a little bit higher, you're, you're coping a heck of a lot out of this top part. Or I could put it down just a little bit more, and then cut it more straight like this, and only cope into that a little bit. So, the angles are very close. I, I took this end and then laid it over here just to see if it would fit. And the angles are very close. So what I'm going to do is use this pipe master to kind of eyeball about where I want it. And then where I'm going to cut this off and then where I'm going to notch this. 
So that's kind of my, my plans moving forward. I'm going to mark where I'm going to cut this and then mark how I want the copes. And looking at it, that's, that's really close. So I'll probably cut it just a hair long so I can just uh, so I can just kind of grind a little out to get it to set into place as tight as I can. So I've got this tube fitting pretty close. I just have to take off a little more right here. I've got a little knob I need to take off. And then it looks like it's going to fit pretty tight all the way around. Uh, then this node will be completed where all these tubes tie in together and also down here. So then I got to sand them down, clean them up, and uh, get ready to tack these things in place so they don't move around anymore. The tubes on the side of the chassis are important because they tie everything together and help triangulate and make it more structurally sound. They are also important because in the event of a rollover or tipping over they keep large rocks from going into the cab area.